Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Right lower quadrant abdominal pain and fever. What do we got, Kane? Well, good morning to you too, McBurney. Geez. What do we got, Kane? It's a 23-year-old female. ID is still pending. Uh, she was found to have severe abdominal pain along her right side. There's a record of her visit to the emergency department. Uh, let me see. She came in with that pain. It started about 10 hours prior around her belly button. The pain worsened and moved over a few hours down to that lower right quadrant. Oh, yeah. She was booting and a tootin'. She was what? I mean, she was vomiting and had some diarrhea. And looks like a fever, too. Mm-hmm. And tenderness in her right lower quadrant of her abdomen. Yep, yeah, just as I thought. They thought she had appendicitis. Append what? Appendicitis? Uh, never heard of it. I'm surprised, McBurney. You've been around the block, seen some stuff. It's really quite common. Yeah, well, why don't you enlighten me? It happens in about 1 out of 10 people over a lifetime. It's also one of the most common reasons for emergency abdominal surgery. Acute appendicitis happens most commonly in the second or third decades of life, with a second peak in patients in their 50s and 60s, a so-called bimodal distribution, and is slightly more common in men. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we got us a suspect. Tell me about this location. Common dumping ground for occult ritual murders, and vigoliths. Why is that? You see, it's a naturally occurring blind-ended pond, just like the appendix. Comes off the cecum, just like this pond coming off that swampy river. Like a diverticulum. You know diverticulum, but you don't know what appendicitis is? What can I say? I've seen some shit. But no, it's not like colonic diverticula. Those are false diverticula, which do not involve all layers of the wall. The appendix is a true diverticulum, meaning it's an outpouching of all the layers of the colon wall. We'd better call this in. Gonna need more bodies to set up that perimeter. We're just past the ileocecal valve. Tell them to follow the tinea coli. If they can't find it, they point right to it. So... What causes all of this? Tube gets blocked. And you know in surgery, when tubes get blocked, real bad things start to happen. Sure, sure. Perforation and everything. We'll get to that shortly. This rock here, that's what's blocking it? It's a fecalith. It loosely translates to poop stone. Hard plug of poop gets caught in the narrows here. That's usually the cause. But tumors and infections like parasites can do it too. Which makes sense with that crab and those leeches. Reminds me of Bogota. Those were terrible days. I seen some shit. Tumors, though. You'd more expect those in someone my age. <laughs> 